Welcome to a new video and look what I got here the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro from Xiaomi. I did really not plan to do another Xiaomi review but as they yeah and I got it now here I thought okay maybe it sounds on the specs paper at least to be one of the best mid-range devices ever made and could probably beat even the mid-range device of choice the Sony Xperia 10 Mark II that I tested last year and I think is still a good mid-range contender even though there are so many new and good devices out now right now that are way better and one of them if not the best mid-range device is the Redmi Note 10 Pro and I want to unbox it right now so let's get started so let's open up the box what we have here is of course the logo around the box you can see also uh, with easy access to the google apps you use most redmi note 10 pro uh, very interesting box here same here on this side and uh, yeah let's open it up let's take this away and we can see here designed by redmi redmi is basically the daughter kind of uh, the, the daughter kind of um, company or brand of xiaomi the device itself here is very very interesting so let's go down here let's see what we have here we have a sim eject tool we have some paper documentation and also a nice uh, silicon case uh, tpu silicon case nothing too special i would say but also with the possibility to open and close up the usb type c port so let's get rid of this let's come to the phone itself and here we go the phone and it's pretty light for a 5000 milliampere hours uh, battery and here you can see the specs already this is a 6.67 inch screen with a stretched full hd resolution and it's an amoled screen which is i think for the redmi note series uh, it's a yeah it's the first it's the first time that we have a 120 hertz amoled 6.67 dot display we have dual speakers here as well pretty nice this is something that the xperia for example is lacking and we have fast charging 33 watts fast charging for the 5020 milliampere hours battery and we have the 108 megapixel quad camera yes this is the same camera sensor that they had last year on the mi 10 and mi 10 ultra and this we can see on the black back first of all the color which is like this bronze like kind of look or golden kind of look and we have some stickers here as well so let's open this up here get it out of this casing yeah there we go and this is the case the screen itself i don't see a screen protector ah there is one there is one i can feel it with my finger here on the top edge we have a 20 megapixel um, front facing camera and no, 16 megapixel front facing camera in a hole punch and this has a silver ring to it somehow i'm sure if you can see it there it's a silver ring interesting it's a 108 megapixel camera on the back f 1.9 26 millimeters wide and then a one over one five two inch sensor size very very big dual pixel uh, autofocus face detection autofocus we have an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera a little smaller sensor one over four inch size sensor we have a macro 5 megapixel and we have a 2 megapixel depth sensor as well as led flash and some uh, yeah uh, lasers definitely for autofocusing as well and it can of course record 4k 30 frames per second and of course full hd with 60 frames per second and on the full uh, on the front facing camera only 30 frames per second it has dual speaker loudspeakers so you have on the top here you have the possibility to listen to sound you have an ir blaster microphone headphone jack pretty interesting 
And on the bottom we have USB type C. This should be USB type C 2.0. So slightly a bit slower. We have a second um, speaker here and a microphone as well. Then on the left side we have the uh, micro SD and double um, SIM card here. So let's open this up. Let's get the SIM jack tool out of here and I can show you this. So we open this up here and here we have it. So a triple slot, finally a triple slot. So we have the possibility to put a micro SD and two SIM cards in there. Very, very nice from Xiaomi. And then of course you can see on the back, this is should be glass on the pro model. On the normal model, I think it is plastic, but it is matte. So you don't see fingerprints and smudges. Be aware that the other colors might have fingerprint and glossy uh, bags. So fingerprint magnets in this case. Then we have on the left side a power button with fingerprint scanner inside and the volume rocker. And you can see there's a slight curve here to the side, pretty nicely done. And yeah, it's a very thin device for 5000 milliampere hours and not so heavy as I would thought. And ah, oh boy, oh boy, this is really, really a cool color, I have to say. So I will turn it on and we will see what we have in here there should be some juice left it says me redmi instead of xiaomi shows here we have a qualcomm snapdragon 732g 8 nanometers g means like gaming performance miui of course in version 12 we have 64 gigabytes of internal memory and 6 gigabytes of ram and the internal memory uses UFS 2.2, so pretty fast for a mid-range device, I would say. And here we have the typical MIUI, MIUI 12 uh, yeah, setup, where I can set up my device, my new device, have to change, uh, choose the language. In this case, I can go also to English, and uh, yeah, the country is Germany in this case, and uh, I can choose which kind of a keyboard I want to use. I want to use the Gboard and have to agree to all these uh, user agreements and conditions. I have to read them. Uh, probably have to sell my soul. Something like this. I've read them and go further on. It's checking for SIM card as well. Here you can see this uh, cutout. Very, very nice. The display is very, very bright, I would say. Can you make it brighter even? Uh, I'm not sure I'm able to do this right now but you can see it is pretty nice. So I will run through the first installation wizard and then I will try out the device and give you my impressions in a later video. Uh, what else can I say? It has uh, Wi-Fi, of course, five gigahertz uh, band as well as Bluetooth 5.1 and GPS, GLONASS and all, all these things. There's NFC on board as well as FM radio. There's an infrared port as well. So everything that you can imagine for a good flagship mid-range device is on board and i think the 108 megapixel camera here for an entry-level mid-range device for around 250 to 280 euros is really really unbeatable if i think back one year we had this uh, Sony for 350, 370, and even if I think about the OnePlus Nord, which I also had for testing, which also is very, very good in terms of mid-range devices, this one for 100 euros less has so much more that this is really, really, yeah, I'm impressed, I have to say. At least on paper, it looks very interesting. Let's see how it is in a few weeks after I tested it. That's everything for this unboxing video. Hope you enjoyed it. Wait a second. Is this everything? No, of course not, because it's not Apple, it's Xiaomi. We have, of course, a charger here, which should be the 33 watt charger. That looks like this. Yes, the 33 watt charger uh, that we can unwrap here and then we can take a look here. It should be the 33 watts charger. And of course we have the cable here as well. So nice USB type C cable to USB A cable, as you can see here. And of course, do we have headphones? No, that's it, I think. 
this looks it looked like they should be headphones it was prepared probably for headphones but they didn't ship with headphones so but i have headphones so enough. my first impressions after 24 hours the device is a good one but we have some advertisement here as you can see after i installed an application you get like a scan a virus scan of the application which is pretty nice and there's advertisement for it Another thing that I figured out, if you want to use the 120Hz display, you have to go into your display settings and you have to explicitly turn it on uh, by going into refresh rate and then set it to high. Otherwise it will just use the 60Hz uh, standard. When it comes to uh, bloatware, there's some installed under more apps. We have Amazon, we have Facebook, TikTok, VPS Office, LinkedIn, Agoda and eBay. And uh, there's Mi Browser as well. I would not recommend using this because it is by default spying on you. Um, by yeah, you have to go into the settings of the Mi Browser to turn it off. And uh, so don't use it. Use uh, Chrome instead. This is also what I do. You also have Opera installed by default. Netflix I installed after it and NewPipe. And uh, I want to go into NewPipe and show you the. Uh, speakers because we have a stereo speaker setup so we search for copyright free music the feedback of typing is pretty interesting it's a very slight uh, vibration only when you're hitting one of those uh, keys but uh, yeah it's something you have to get used to now let's listen to some music it's loading internet is a bit slow it's always And now we can hear the speaker. They get pretty loud, those speakers. And we have a stereo setup. So there's a speaker on the top and on the bottom, and together we create a good, nice music. The issue I think is a bit with bass, so bass is a bit lacking here, but in general pretty loud, pretty good speakers and uh, for this price point, yeah, what can you expect more? So let's take a look at the cameras. We have the 108 megapixel cameras, camera the 8 megapixel ultra wide and the 5 megapixel uh, tele macro and uh, depth sensor and uh, let's take some uh, sample shots and see how they look like. So this is now front facing camera video full HD 16 megapixels I think it should have image stabilization and uh, it is quite close to my face so if I have to stretch my arm a bit longer then it's good but then I think image stabilization will suffer a bit so have it a little bit like uh, not stretched but a little bit like this will help instead of this and like a stick and then, then it will have problems does it have autofocus do i have anything to autofocus on here uh let me i just take another phone and see if it has autofocus i don't think it has autofocus so it's a fixed focus camera on the front full hd and uh, yeah this is what you can expect also from uh terms of um, the voice that it is recording right now so now the 108 megapixel main camera sensor full hd 1080p 30 frames per second it has stabilization there 4k doesn't have any stabilization probably there will be an update that gives us eis hopefully xiaomi if you're listening because the sensor has enough megapixels to do this 
and uh, maybe it's just the processor handling the 4K stabilization. Anyway, stabilization is working. I'll show you some things like uh, focusing and so on. So here's my setup that I usually use for a recording. You can see here the tripod and you can see the tripod plate where I have my camera usually on and this is the camera that I use in this case for this video that I used for the is the XT100 and it has some adapter cables 2.5 to 3.5 and another adapter cable for the TRS to TR TRRS to TRS and this is a Sitecom uh, USB-C adapter for okay. reading in the micro SD card into my MatePad Pro where I will then cut the video. So uh, yeah, short overview, focusing, I think it's working nicely and fine and yeah, big good sensor for video recording. Now if you want to do some vlogging, the 108 megapixel main sensor is not good enough, I would say the wide angle sensor is much much better. Now you can see a lot more of my room here, of my smallish uh, kind of uh, studio. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the ultra wide 8 megapixel camera, also full HD, 30 frames per second. By default, it's recording in this mode, so I will leave it by default. I will test out the camera later in another video, of course, and I will also show you 4K and if there's stabilization or not. But I know already that there's no stabilization in 4K mode. Maybe it will come in an update. And uh, yeah, this is uh, everything for this uh, video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have some questions and comments, you can ask them in the comment section. And until the next time, bye.